Welcome back to another video. Today what I want to do is catch a fish right here on the rocks starting from a small little like periwinkle or something like that. So I want an upgrade. I want to find a little periwinkle, use that to catch something else to upgrade to eventually catch a fish. We've got the long rod with us that we have. Now fishing here in northern Spain is a little bit difficult. There's, there's quite a few things that I've had to learn. But one thing that I've seen in the bait stores is that they sell little crabs as, as bait. So then I thought maybe I can catch a little crab bang that on a hook, cast it out there, and catch something a little bit bigger. So that's the plan for today. It is blowing balls today. It is super windy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can probably hear it as well on the GoPro. So I'm gonna do my best to, to, to make sure that the audio is as clear as possible, but it is, it's, 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 it's gonna be a great day. So stick with me, let's enjoy this one. Oh, and by the way, if we don't catch anything to eat today on the rocks, I've got a killer idea for lunch. Sausages, cheese, wrapped in bacon, and we're gonna cook it right here somewhere. Uh, I don't know, we'll find, we'll find a place. Like I say in my videos, we're not allowed to cook on these rocks. So we gotta be a little bit stealthy. But uh, man, I'm, I'm sheltered here. I don't think there's gonna be anybody coming and looking around this side. So I think, I think we're gonna be good. Let's get a little limpet or a periwinkle or something so we can try and catch a crab. that got me wet this is exactly what I'm looking for so I'm gonna put you guys down over there so what we're looking for we're gonna use this to catch a crab let's do it oh man so I got a little bit wet there from that last wave this is what we're after. It's a little limpet, little periwinkle, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm guessing if I just take this guy out of his shell and leave him somewhere on the rocks where a crab is going to get to him, then a crab's going to come out and going to try and catch him, but then to catch the crab. So what I might do is put him inside my net, got my net up there, leave that net somewhere with, the, with a couple of these guys, and then as soon as the crab walks in, lift the net, catch the crab, put him on a hook, and cast him out there. Let's get this guy out of his shell. Sorry buddy, sorry buddy. Gotta be careful with these waves. First little injury. Careful with your knives. All right, so I've got my net here. I'm gonna put my net just like, just like that. And then let's get this guy here. And I'm gonna put him, boy, careful, just inside there, like that. Now like this, if a crab comes up from down there and tries to go for that periwinkle, we just lift him up and we got ourselves a crab. Woo! It is rough here today. Let's get out of the wind for a second. All right, so while that uh, periwinkle is, uh, well, I'm gonna say simmering down there, waiting for a crab, we're not gonna sit here doing nothing. We're gonna cast out a worm, see if we can catch something while we're waiting. The challenge is still to catch a crab and catch something on that crab. But in the meantime, we got some worms, we got a rod, I got the bobber set to about a meter and a half, tiny little hook on the end there. We're going to cast it out and we're going to see what we can catch with a worm. Let's get a worm on. Oh man. These things are wriggly. Oh man, he's, he's bit my hook with his pincers. Now my last video, I managed to catch, catch five fish with the same worm. Does that not look appetizing? Woo! Let's get it out there.
All right, so I've had to tie on a bit of a sliding sinker there, just below the, just below the cork to try and give it a little bit more, a little bit more weight in the cast because it's, it is windy. So let's try that again. All right, we definitely got some distance there. wing rasses all right buddy you are gonna go straight yeah yeah oh. and in the water lucky escape let's check on our crab net it's just over there still nothing Tiny little thing, tiny little guy. Look at him, oh man. The tiniest little cork wing rats. Yeah, buddy, yeah, yeah. So take. Oh! Look at him. They really are. Right. Right, so we are getting nothing but these little cork wing rasses. Oh man. There he is. They're really beautiful little fish, but I want something a little bit bigger, something to eat. Nothing yet in the crab net. I've spotted, spotted a little crab. My net is not working at all, but I see one right down there. And I'm gonna see if I can throw this down to it, see if he'll grab onto it and maybe scoop him into my net. Oh, he's grabbing onto it, he's grabbing onto it. He's eating it. He's actually eating it. Now, while he's distracted. So I think I'm gonna put the net down below him and then scare him down into the net. He's moving, he's moving. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy, there we go, there we go. He's going. Come on. Okay, so new plan. I'm gonna take one of these little periwinkles, I'm gonna put onto a hook, drop the hook down, see if the crab will hold onto it, pull him up and try and catch him in the net. Uh, it's, it's my last chance, so let's see what we can do. All right, 
but there's one down there. Okay, he's got he's on he's holding on to it, he's holding on to it. I've gotta get the net. Okay, he's got it. That crab skunked me. He took my limpet and he left. But he's just come back. I can see him down there. I'm gonna put down the GoPro and I'm gonna try and catch him with the net. This is my last chance to get him. After this, we're going to eat something. I see him just down there. All right, let me concentrate. Let's see if I can do this. So what I've done is I've tied the little periwinkle. Well, I put it directly on the hook because uh, no luck catching crabs. Let's see if this is going to get us anything. Oh yeah. We're running out of battery, so we gotta make this quick. All right, so no luck. No luck with the fishing. So it's time to cook up a little bit of lunch. And I got something really, really, really tasty for today, that's for sure. Now I found a little crevice in the rocks just to block out a bit of the wind. And that is gonna be perfect. All right, welcome to the kitchen. Today's meal is quite an interesting one i've got some sausages here oh let's get one out come on buddy all right just go in there for now you guys are gonna go there i want to cut this just a little bit down the center and spread them open just like that let's get another one all right so we got two sausages actually let's do it over here okay now these sausages, what I want to do is fill them with a little bit of cheese, so like this. Then this one is going on top of that one, so it's like a sausage, sausage cheese sandwich. And then we're going to wrap this thing in bacon. Wrap it up in bacon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude. What are you doing? Okay, so look at that. That is that is looking great. All right, I'm gonna put that there for now. Let's pack up all of this. Now I've got these little sticks. These are gonna act as little Sasati sticks. All right, those are not gonna get any sharper. Ooh. Okay, now these are going straight through like that straight through look at that so it is a bacon wrapped cheese sausage that looks amazing all right let's turn on some gas That is cooking. Let's tidy up. This thing is amazing. This is the way to spend an afternoon. Beer, let's give this thing a turn. Oh. <laughs> Some of these things that I come up with, it looks delicious. Cheers to all of you. This is gonna be so tasty. I got a couple of minutes left on my GoPro. 
and then the battery's dying. But uh, if not, then I'll just record with my phone. So unfortunately, that crab, that crab just fooled me today. I couldn't get it. I just need to find a better way to try and catch, catch those crabs. If I can do that, then we'll have a successful mission. I even tried casting out the little periwinkle on the hook and uh, and I, I got nothing. You know, I think I had one hit, but um, but nevertheless, it's, it's, it's good to get outside. It's good to do some fishing. I haven't uploaded a video in a while because um, I've been uh, in the process of getting married. Now I am officially, officially married. I'm off the shelf. And uh, yeah, permanently living in Spain. But uh, hopefully now that things have calmed down after the wedding and all my family have left, I'll be able to start uploading some more videos, doing some more fishing missions. And uh, I've got a lot. Of, I've got a lot of really cool ideas. Today's idea didn't work out, but you know I've learned something about catching crabs, and that's the most. <laughs> yeah, the most important thing is to have a bit of fun, get outside, breathe some fresh air, have a beer, and uh, do some illegal cooking on the rocks. I'm gonna let this thing cook, I'm gonna save some battery and I'm gonna check in with you guys when it's almost done. Cheese melting there. It's super windy, so I've had to come into this little like cave to shelter. But man, what a nice day! What a beautiful day! This is what it's all about, getting into a little rock and cooking up a little meal. And I must say this is looking super, super tasty. Some nice fresh bread. Take a look at that, we've got some, some cheese melted here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I think I need to get these little sticks out. Let's turn this off. Now let's take this, I'm just going to put it onto this, this. Sorry, I'm juggling with one hand here. And this is go <laughs> No man, no man. Look at that. This is a little bit ridiculous. Oh, it's cheese coming out the side there. Feel my arteries closing up. Look at that. A little bit of the, bit of the sausage. Seagulls, see all the seagulls out there in the water. So many seagulls. I think they can they can smell my food.
Well, thank you so much for watching. It really, really, really means a lot to me. If you enjoyed this type of stuff, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I always reply to my comments and I'm going to try to do this as much as possible. So thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end. And of course, I'll see you guys next time on the next fishing mission. Cheers.